Thank you, thank you all. May I say it is a great pleasure to address you all tonight. Thus I begin. Dear Wolf, Falcon, Dog, and Mrs. Margaret Sanger. Surprise! I am in Vienna. Actually, it should be no surprise for you, for I have always been quite fascinated with Dr. Sigmund Freud. I found his practice on a little cobblestone street. I marched directly into his secretary's office and said, Frau Mittelschmerz, I would like an appointment with Dr. Freud. She looked down her long nose at me and said, Fraulein, one does not simply demand an appointment with Dr. Freud. I said, I am a dear friend of Mrs. Margaret Sanger. She sent me personally. I needed not say a word more. At the name of Margaret Sanger, the door swung open as if of its own accord. There was Dr. Freud smoking a cigar. He gestured me to a velvet chaise lounge. Thus, we were alone in the room together. We had an hour session at the end of which he readily agreed to be my boyfriend. We left his practice hand in hand. We went to tour a castle with a beautiful fountain in the center where a vendor was selling ice cream. When he reached down to scoop chocolate for Sigmund, I smelled a stench of burning rubber. I knew it all too well. The ice cream man was none other than Dr. Wolfersberger. I said, Gleifen, er ist ein sehr stinkend man. And Sigmund sprang into action. We wrestled him over to the fountain and dumped his head underwater until he was gasping for air and then lifted to the center of the fountain and sat him onto the spout so that the water shot up through his asshole and came out of his mouth until his innards were washed pure as a mountain spring, though he was also dead. Sigmund and I celebrated by eating all the ice cream in the cart. We have enjoyed our time in Vienna, but now we're eager to move on. More importantly, where are all of you? I hope this letter finds you in the midst of delicious adventures. All my love, Leopard.